welcome back. My name is Gigi Fizz. How y'all doing today? Thank you so much for joining me, Ox Five All Mod Series. And today we're taking a look at Kill Rath Super Epic Boat Mod. Now I've had some requests, and I've actually been quite interested in this mod because it adds, as you can tell, three different kind of boats behind us. Now keep in mind, Arc mods are always all work in progress, and this one is definitely a work in progress. So bugs and stuff can happen. I haven't encountered any yet with this mod, so it's pretty good and stuff and uh yeah so let's begin shall we so to even even get started you need to go to your anagrams and you have to go learn all the stuff which is all this in order like so and these require wooden raft uh outboard motor which is which is this this should be switched around and stuff and it, it just requires a lot of stuff to make this um you need to make these these all are required to make the big boats yeah which is kind of cool and obviously you need to make this one before you can make this one before you can make this one it's very cool so I can show you some of the crafting recipes for it so these are planks the planks are used to make the bigger boats you need like 10 of each it looks like yeah 10 of each and this is 10 metal and 200 wood it's a lot of a uh, lot of grinding it's a lot of grinding I think it's actually worth it though I think it's a very balanced mod though because it adds humongous boats and I think adding kind of like a resource grind is pretty cool adding more stuff you know stuff and things um this requires dinosaur eggs and 200 fiber for one which you need five of this is a cannon 100 metal 100 120 oil 100 gunpowder 130 wood and 30 cementing paste and you need that how many you need for these just four for those and you need to make the motor, which is 100 metal, 120 oil, 100 gasoline, 40 polymer, and 3 straight electrical wires, cables. Very interesting, yeah. And uh, cannonball grenades, 40 gunpowder, 10 crystals, 20 cement paste, and 12 metal ingots. And then the boats, let's see, infl inflatable speedboat. Requires 250 metal, 125 polymer, 210 high, 100 oil, and two motors. Because it's got two motors, huh? Huh? And this one requires a bunch of crap. And then this one is the more expensive one because it requires the more cannons and stuff. But it's pretty interesting. Pretty cool. I haven't got the cannons work yet, so I, well, I'll probably cut and try to get it to work. But I haven't played around with this mod just yet. But let's take a look real quick of the models, and then we'll take a spin with all of them. So obviously we got the inflatable raft. Now, a lot of people actually been wanting this actually in the vanilla game. A smaller boat that's actually really fast, which I think this is kind of kind of suitable, actually. Um, because we have the wooden raft, which is in, it's fast, but it's not that fast. But I think this would be a lot better. And it's just, it's, I think it's perfect. I like this. Um, by the way, we are on the center map. Uh, I forgot to mention that. Uh, I'm doing all my mod reviews on the center map itself. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Pretty cool. We come over here. This is the gallon, right? Yep, and that's the battle gallon. Um, does this remind you of the Black Pearl? Yes, it does. For me, it does. <laughs> it kind of does. Um, obviously, the black sails are kind of interesting on on this. So just like white or something, but I feel like that's cool. Um, the amount of detail though for this is absolutely amazing. Look at this boat. Look at how sick it is. So cool. So cool. And you can actually store stuff in the sucker. So it actually has got like a whole weight system and everything. And it's got like, I don't know, I guess a whole chest of storage. And you sit, I think you stand, I think you drive it up here. Or right here. I think it's right here when you hook on. We'll, we'll take a look at it. But you can also get on the ladder and stuff. It's really cool. Very nice. And this one is an exact copy pretty much. Um, kind of, I think. Let me look at it. Yeah, they're an exact copy, except for no, they're actually are exact copies. So I was like, this this one has cannons, but this one, this one supposedly shoots cannons. I haven't tested it yet, so we'll have to see if that works or not. Because there is cannonballs and stuff that we can um, can use. But this one's cool, same thing. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So let's test them out in order. So let's go to this guy. Now we have a whole big water area on this map. That's why I choose this map instead of the default map because the default map is just the outside here we can do a lot of stuff so all you do start it up you just go forward it's gonna lag a little bit 
Now, it drives exactly what you would expect. Very freaking fast. Um, FPS wise, it's not the best for me. Because Ark doesn't like to be cool. But look how sweet this is. Alright. Let's see if I can change some settings, shall we? So let's do medium, yeah? Let's do low. Medium. Medium. Low. Low. These can be off. That can be up. And I broke the game. Alright. Faster FPS now. I mean, look at this. First person view, yeah? Oh. By the way, I'm not going to be able to find my way home. I doubt I will. <laughs> I mean, this is so cool. I mean, come on. Let's get this into vanilla. Look at this! <laughs> it's so fast! Oh my god. This is so good. Oh. Oh my god, this is so good. I'll put the spawn codes in the bottom, by the way. So as you can tell, this should change the game quite a bit if um, Ark had something like this. But the problem is, on the default map, it's too small. Too small. This would be useless, honestly, on the default map. It's cool, though, but it would be too... It, the map's way too small for this. So I guess this is pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's park this baby, yeah? Park right here. Boom. Right into the shore. So if I go to my page, I have a command for all of this stuff. Let's grab the next boat, shall we? So let's grab this guy. Oh, I I copied the whole thing again wrong. Hold on, let me do that. Um all the spawn codes for it will be in the link description down below, as well as in the link description down below. You can download it. I'll give you a link to it. So there you go, spawning it in like so. Now we just get in it on it. And we just sail away. Now, it kind of still has... It's, in my opinion, it's like the other boat. Because it's just kind of a skin for it. Because it has the same mechanic. Um, the wooden raft. It even makes the same noises. Oh. Okay, maybe it doesn't. But it's still cool, though. Um, obviously it's not as fast as the other one though, but this one has the ability to actually like zoom out more a little bit. It's pretty cool. Dun 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 dun. See, like an RP server, and like maybe like this kind of map, like the center map. I think it would be very useful. It's very useful in the center map. I mean, look at this. This is so cool. Just go around stuff. I wonder if um, I'm actually curious if anything will come and attack us. If we do this, I wonder. All right, so let's try. Let's see if we can boat back to uh, where we were, which actually I don't know where that was, to be exactly. We can leave the other boat. Doesn't matter. Underwater view, very nice. But yeah, overall, I think this mod is very cool. Um, on the vanilla map, though, it's very unlikely. I mean, the map is surrounded by water. Whoa, hello. Oh, we're in a top view now. Well, that's cool. How did I do that? Oh, when you zoom forward with the mouse wheel, yeah, you get on a top view. Oh, look at that. Oh, this makes it so much better. Oh, my God. Being able to park stuff. Oh, hi, sharks. Bye, sharks. Are you going to attack me? Actually, this is a good test. Are they going to come and attack us? Is it coded not for top sharks to attack boats? It looks like. Down to J Davy Jones' locker. Jump into the water, mate. Probably not. This is cool. Alright, let's see if we can get back to our port, yeah? Not too bad. A little laggy, though. I'm gonna need to restart my computer, it looks like, for today. My computer doesn't like working overtime. I've done a lot of recording today and stuff. So let's see if we can make the turn. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So overall, my review so far, this is amazing. Vanilla map, 
not too much usage. I mean, it will be useful, but not as much as like other maps. But I think this is a really cool mod. I'm actually extremely excited to see what he will be doing with this mod or the mods creators themselves because a lot of people are doing two people are creating the mod now which is very cool so let's get back to the other boat because the other boat apparently shoots cannons and I want to test that see how that works and there's our mighty castle or our nice base not modded by the way all right so see how well we can park this if we made like a dock area so but like RP server and stuff this would probably be hands down really cool and stuff so let's park it right there pretty cool oh god the lags real so as you can tell walking on the deck very cool you just walk on the deck you can climb up this ladder and stuff you can get up here and stuff really cool so we're just gonna do a slash fly and we're gonna fly to this right here and I want to see how we can get the cannons to work on it. I don't know how to get the cannons to work. But this one has the cannons and stuff. No ammo. Alright, so what do I need? Let me spawn some ammo in. Oh, let me make some real quick. I don't know actually if I can spawn it in yet. So give me right, give me a minute and I'll be right back with you guys. Spawn code for the, um, the cannonballs itself. So I made some. So I don't know. I put it inside the boat itself so I don't know how well this is going to work I don't even know where they shoot but I guess we can test it out over here let's let's see I'm assuming it might be the sides or the front maybe the front I'm actually really scared let's see let's pull right up yeah Why you know work? Does that have to be inside my um uh... Am I even on the right one? Battle gallon. Yeah. No? Come on. Fire Fire Why won't you shoot? I actually don't know what I'm doing. Oh, fire front side. Wait, left side, right side. Oh, Q. Aha. So Q changes where you fire. But what's the Q to shoot? Alright, maybe I put them in my slot. Alright. So, Q changes the side. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh, uh, what the hell was that? Was that space? Fire the cannons! Oh, God. Alright, hold on, hold on. Alright. We get, we got it now. All right, front. Wait, front fire. Okay, front fire. Yeah, we're gonna hit these damn trikes somewhere or another. Okay, so it's space bar. I didn't say that side. Left side, front fire. That's not front fire. You're wasting my cannons. Hit it! Oh my god, we're not gonna kill anything with this freaking. Oh my god, hit the damn trikes! Yeah! Hey! Fire! Fire the cannons! Alright. Let's be honest, it's probably gonna be fucking hard as hell to shoot this damn thing. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Alright, so rocks do affect it. I wanted to test that actually. If rocks affect the cannon, and it looks like it does. 
Alright, let's do a long shot, yeah? No ammo. Dang it! Alright, well that was that was fun, that's interesting. Um obviously I would not you probably take some time to practice and stuff and shoot. But but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this mod showcase video. If you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and tell me guys what other mods you want to see. Remember, this is free to download on the Steam Workshop if you have a computer. Sorry for Xbox fans, you cannot play this. <laughs> or have this, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Maybe Ark will add mods to Xbox, maybe somehow. I don't know actually how that would even work. But anyways, my name is GGFizz, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.